welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. Really great to have you here with me on the show this evening. Now, this is the show where my guests get to pick their favourite songs of all time. And tonight's special guest is a Hollyoaks actress, Jazz Franks. Yes, she'll be joining us and choosing her favourite songs. And here is what happened when I caught up with her. Jazz Franks, it's great to have you here. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yes, I'm really good. It's hot, isn't it? But it's, we're working through these conditions. It is so warm. It is so warm in this flat as well. <laughs> oh, but we made it here. Now, I want to chat to you because I want to know how it all started for you because you were at uni, weren't you, when Hollyoaks all came about? Yes, yeah, so I decided to go to uni because I didn't really know what else to do and all my friends were going. And um, within seven weeks, I'd had to quit because I got Hollyoaks. So. Wow, I bet all your friends were like, what? Yeah, I literally did freshers and left. It was mint. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Living your best life. It was so Fantastic good. stuff. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're going to go straight into your first song, Jazz. Uh, Luther Vandross, Never Too Much. Why have you picked this song today on the show? This is like my go-to song for anything. Like when I'm drunk in a club, I'm like running to the DJ, like, play Luther Vandross. I'm like, no, this is not the vibe for Luther Vandross. <laughs> but I absolutely adore it. Like, in the, yes. where, honestly, wherever I go, I put it on. I am... Um, wow. It came... So this is a... a Carl Cox um, played his 40th birthday at Space in Ibiza and this was his last song before he left. Oh. And I was literally like, everyone just lost their heads and it stuck with me forever. I absolutely love it. Brilliant. Well, it's going to bring back a lot of memories for you. We want everyone on your feet and singing along at home. Here is Luther Vandross, uh, Never Too Much from 1983. Enjoy. <laughs> Now, Jazz, I want to talk to you about Hollyoaks because I feel like we all related to your character quite a bit. I mean, you had some heavy storylines, didn't you? Especially the bullying storyline. Yeah, it was... I, I know she wasn't actually that normal because her life was... I mean, she was a surrogate mum and she found money in a bin and all that kind of stuff. But she was probably one of the most normal characters of Hollyoaks, so everyone could relate to her. So I think when she went through the bullying, um, bullying by someone that she lived with, um, yeah. everyone kind of just felt for her that little bit more and was like wanting her to win in that situation. So she was a top character to play. Yeah, she really was. And I've got a question here from one of our viewers, Sarah. She says, what was your favorite scene in Hollyoaks? My favorite scene? Um, we oh. had a week uh, where we were filming in Abbasock and it was oh. baking hot and it was where uh, Esther met Tilly who was sort of Esther's first love um, and we were sat on the jetty and it was such a top scene to film like we had the crew around us we had like a bit of um everyone was like gathering around to watch as well because obviously we was at a holiday destination so people were just stopping and staring and it was a really good scene uh, to film yeah. in the sunshine it was top Ah, oh, loving that in the sunshine. Well, your next song, Alicia Keys, Empire State of Mind. Oh, I love this song. It's feel good straight away, isn't it? Why this song, Jazz? So this is my song that me, my mum and my dad play constantly. Oh. Um, yeah, they took me to New York for my 21st and it was one of those holidays that wow. you'll never, ever, ever forget. Yeah. Um, and we just constantly played this song and now if it comes on the radio or if my dad puts it on at home we all just stop and start singing we love it so it just reminds me oh. of my parents oh well this one's going out to jazz's parents <laughs> i hope they're tuning in probably <laughs> mine probably are yeah. that, that's just four viewers brilliant <laughs> see you after this Oh, Jazz, I realised that you've been doing some work over this kind of period, um, working in a homeless charity, is that right? Yeah, so I um, worked with the homeless charity before the whole pandemic. Um, right. But obviously we had to close our doors because we were such a small building, we couldn't open. Um, so we then went into food response to um, the guys and girls who'd been taken off the streets and put in temporary accommodation in the hotels in Manchester we went yeah. to into food response, so served breakfast, lunch, and dinner to two hundred plus people. Um, it was it was brilliant. It was really heartwarming, and and I watched a lot of people obviously couldn't work through the pandemic, and so because I was still working, I kind of, I kind of feel like I didn't really stop. So everyone had this little break, and I was still going. <laughs> 
Oh, well, just brilliant. I think that is fantastic work. Uh, now, your next song, Good Riddance, Green Day. Why this tune? So one of my first ever jobs was um, a BBC like mini film three part oh. um, called Johnny and the Bomb. And we were only kids, there was five of us. And they played this after our last scene in the minibus going back to base, before we all like, we'd just finished filming, we'd finished the whole thing. And they played this and it was one of those songs that it'll just sit with me forever. I don't ever really listen to it, but if someone says to me, what's one of your favorite songs? It's always one of my go-tos. It was in that oh. moment in that van that I was yeah. like, you know what, this is what I want to do. It was brilliant. Yeah, yeah you just knew. Brilliant stuff. Well, let's play it out now. Uh, here it is from 1998. Enjoy. Now, this next song is going out to Gary Lawless, who I know tunes in every week and supports the show. So this one is for you, Gary. Now, Jazz, we've got a quick fire quiz round for you here on the show. Good luck. <laughs> Your karaoke song. Um, 50 Cent Candy Shop. Now, someone told me you know all the words. That is an absolute skill. Yeah, that is literally my go-to karaoke song. And once we was in Dubai, because I knew all the lyrics, people were sending drinks home to the table. It was cool. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe you know every word because honestly, that takes a lot of time to memorise that. Brilliant. Uh, your driving song, what song do you put on just driving down the motorway? Um, Jerry Cinnamon Belter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, your motivational song, what makes you just go, yes, I'm going to take on the world today? Um, end credits with Chase and States and Plan B. Woo and a song that you get ready to. So when you're going out, out, when we're allowed, what is the tune? It's going on, few drinks, makeup on, off um, you go. I'm going to have to go for Lizzo, Truth Hurts. Woo! And a song that you hit the dance floor to. What is that song that you're just like, I'm sorry, whether my feet are hurting or not, I'm on that floor. Beyonce, Run the World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so with you on that one, yes. Uh, now, your next song um, is George Ezra, Paradise. I love this tune. It is, it's, it, this is what, probably another one of my driving songs. Like, I, we, yeah. we go um, camping a lot and up and down uh, the UK and it's always a song that you put on and straight away you're like, yes, if the sun's shining, the windows are yeah. down, it's proper feel-good yeah. tune, so I love it. Yeah, well, we're playing all the feel-good tunes here tonight. We will see you on the other side of this. Now, Jazz, that song you said that you hit the dance floor to, Run the World, can we play that out and can you give us some dance moves? <laughs> dance moves? <laughs> <laughs> we won't make you now. We'll play out the video and uh, we'll both do some uh, dance moves at home. But it's a classic song, isn't it? It's such a good song. And like I said before, like if it comes on in a club or in a bar, you're straight up and you're trying to do all the Beyonce moves and you think you're Beyonce. And I, I usually play it like I um, I do a lot of walking. So if I'm on my own, I'll put it on. And then all of a sudden I'm like strutting. Like, <laughs> oh, I love that. This is my new walking song then. I'm not yeah. jogging to this. I'm going to strut to this. Oh, yeah, don't uh, run. Don't jog. Oh, no. Do that. no, no, no. We're acting like we're Beyonce here. Brilliant stuff. Here is Beyonce, Run the World. And we will see you after. Oh, Jazz, thank you so much. You've been so much fun today. We love having you on the show. I've loved being on. Thank you for having me. Oh, uh, now what's your future plans? What's coming up for you next? Um, well, I decided to quit my job at the end of the pandemic. So I no longer work um, for the charity I was working for. Um, I still volunteer, but I just need to throw myself back into acting. And I think yes. because everything's stopped and now everything's picking back yeah. up, I feel like everyone's on a level playing field. So, yeah. whereas all the people I used to see on Instagram getting all the jobs, I feel like they weren't working. So we're all we're all in the same uh, page Watch this now. Space. So, what is the dream acting job for you then? Is it musical oh. theatre or more soaps? Um, or my dream. I mean, my dream was soap. I remember sitting yeah. in front of the soap boards as a kid, telling my mum, "I'm going to be there one day, mum. I'm going to be there one day." And oh. then I did eight years there, so it was it was incredible. Wow. That was my dream. Um, yeah. And I'd never say never to going back to soap. I think it's it's a Ooh. British institution. It's 
um, yeah. it's what it's about. But I would love to do like a gritty ITV drama. Yeah. Like, nice little four part. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something Watch like this that. space. Watch <laughs> this space. I'm sure good things are definitely coming your way. Now, your last song, uh, Natasha Bedingfield, written. Oh, this is a feel good one as well, isn't it? Why this yeah. song? I just think it's. I know it's going to sound really cheesy, but the lyrics are so relevant. <laughs> like, yeah. you can probably yeah. belt it at the top of your voice. And I just think, I think because the sun's shining in Manchester for once, I'm like picking all like hey. proper summer tunes when you can drive, you've got the windows down. <laughs> so it's a good job it's not raining because I'll be playing all depressing songs. <laughs> Yeah, we've got the feel-good tunes here tonight. Well, we're going to play out that song for you, Jazz. Uh, but thank you so much. It's Jazz Franks, everyone. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, we've now come to the end of the show, but a huge thank you to Jazz Franks uh, from Hollyoaks. Just brilliant fun and really good to have on the show. And a huge thank you to you at home for supporting the show. Your support is really, truly appreciated. Thank you. And I love hearing from you, by the way. If I haven't heard from you, why not? Details are on the screen below. Now, we are going to leave you with a last song uh, that I want to dedicate to Wendy, who I know watches the show. And I will see you same time, same place next week. I'm Hayley Palmer. I'll see you then.